Thank you very much for sticking around for Medical Monday. I am joined right now by almost the whole Smith clan Not right quite. now. we got a lot more at home. <laughs> there you go. Mandy is joining us, and so is Dr. Mark Smith yeah. from the Messina Animal Clinic. And we're talking today, of course, about these freezing temperatures. You can't right. go anywhere these days yeah, without Jack Frost thinking is about looking it. at your nose. Exactly, and especially for these animals, too. What kind right. of things should we keep in mind? Well, common sense things. Uh, as far as outside pets, make sure that you've got a warm place for them to stay. Make sure that if they've got a, uh, a kennel opening where the prevailing wind hits it, make sure you break that wind barrier. Because mm -hmm. wind chills, as we know, are down in the zeros right now, and that'll quickly uh, freeze the dog. You, you get frostbite issues. You get other side effects that are, you don't want that to happen to your pets. Okay, and then in a garage specifically, yeah, I know like antifreeze is a big one, right? Right, antifreeze, especially with the, with the snow on the ground and people changing antifreeze out of their cars, it's very limited spaces and one tablespoon will kill a 30 pound dog. Wow. Um, and indoor in the, in the garages, if they're going to be, if, if in the bitter weather you want to put them in your, your garages, make sure that you mount it to the monoxide levels. That's something we don't, we don't tend to pay attention to sometimes. Just like in humans, especially. Just like with people. There you go. Right. And, and now moving indoors. Actually, I, let's, think, let's keep outdoors. Actually, there's yeah, one there more was point. one thing with cats. Right. You, uh, we recommend banging on the hood of your car or turning, uh, turning your horn on to make sure that if there's cats in there getting warm, you want them out before you start, start your car. Okay, and there's certain things you could do inside, too, I guess, to make sure that right. everyone's okay outside. One of them you mentioned has to do with covering the animal's feet. Tell right. me about that. Well, if, when you, as your pets go outside to go to the bathroom, um, cover their feet up. And if, if you don't, make sure you take off any kind of uh, toxic chemicals that are were, were all over the sidewalks right now. Mm -hmm. um, they can either... They, they can cause irritation to the feet. They can also cause irritation if they lick it and take it into their system. Okay. And then, of course, the obvious then, pay close attention to what kind of items are around your house. Things that right. I guess we might take for granted, or they're obvious, like candles. Candles, saying, heating right? sources, right. right. And the big thing we we're talking about is dry air. Mm -hmm. We don't realize that dry air really affects your pets, just like they, dry, they affect us. The, uh, like we're doing right now with Manny, combing your pet is very important in, the, in this season of, of, of their life because it helps to stimulate natural oil production. It gets rid of the old flakes of the coat. Um, it creates uh, a, a better, healthy um, coat source so that you know they don't develop infections. Um, and then your older pets is the other thing I would mm -hmm. tell people. Uh, Manny is setting records right now for going to the bathroom outside. She gets outside and she gets in as quick as she can. She's your older pets, because they're arthritic, um, because of the dry air, you, you get, they get constipated because they, they're not drinking as much water. The dry air evaporates a lot more water off their skin. And also their urinary tract uh, can get affected because you can get infections. And so these things we don't think about ten, tend to think about those in the summertime, but in the winter it's very important for your pets. Mm -hmm. We're seeing a 15% rise probably in our urinary tract infections wow. and our ear infections because ear infections the ears too. get chapped because of the dry air. So pay attention to those things. If you have any questions, talk to your vets. That sounds good. And speaking of which, you can talk to Dr. Mark Smith yourself. You can contact him through MassVets.com or through the number on your screen, 540 Four three four two three six eight Smith Clan. Thank you very much for joining me, Mandy. Thank you for being so well behaved. I saw you running around before, but Dr. Yeah, Mark, thank you again. Thank you. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Before we go, let's take a look at the weather. Bye.